Hey dudes, uh, <laughs> name's Claude. <laughs> um, and I'm from Midwest South. Uh, and the poem I'll be presenting is Names. How can you bathe in our blood and forget the scent? Blood of the transpopulous pools at your feet and yet you claim you can't see it. How much hate can you have? You may not have been the one to kill us, but you're in the environment who allowed it to happen. It could have been anyone holding the weapon and nobody would care. It's not like they'd be charged anyway. Don't dare forget their names, Ali Steinfeld. 17, killed five months after coming out on Instagram, eyes gouged out, gentle stabbed, bones put in bag and burnt. Did the acrid smell of her remains bother you? Did it overpower yours? Kenneth Bostick, 59, homeless, beat to death with a metal pipe, lied there for half an hour before anyone bothered to help. I wonder if anyone passed by before that, if they did, do they feel regret? Was it just another body for them? Did they care? Did the blood even phase them? Don't you dare look away and forget their names. Sean Hake, Kiwi Herring, Scout Schultz, shot by the police. Rita Hester, Mesha Caldwell, Shina Gibson, Sarah McElveen, Yves Louis Barron, Jojo Stryker, Jamie Lee, Tierra Richman, I could go on. We are shut down by the trans panic defense. You killed them because their genitalia did not match what you expected. The murderer of Islan Nettles claimed he had nothing against trans people, he just didn't want to be fooled. Aw, that entitled little dude thought that his expectations mattered. In the same way, you probably killed people for sneaking up on you, for giving you a surprise birthday party, as if you're so entitled to what you expect that anything out of what you deem to be abnormal is, leads to a death sentence, as if the mere act of existing as trans and other and confusing to your cis eye makes us deserving of death, as if her genitalia was any of your business, as if you had the authority to police someone's existence yet. You weren't charged with a hate crime. You were just shocked. You were put into a blind fury. You were reasonable when you rammed her head into a pavement, sent her into a coma, and she was taken off life support. How long does it take to get so used to the stench of our blood that you can delude yourself into thinking it's not there? That we're acting for too much when we beg for you not to kill us. We're so marginalized that people ever hear about us. Heck, I didn't hear about half these names till recently. We're so marginalized, the media doesn't care. It just dismisses them. I wonder if in their last moments they thought nobody cared. I wonder if somebody cared. I wonder if I'll be next and I thus live in fear. Are you just so used to our blood that you think you can decide whether or not to spill it? Is it fun to play judge, jury, and executioner? Guilty, guilty, dead. Don't close your eyes this violence. Don't forget their names. You let this happen. Your silence, your complacence let this happen. Don't wash your hands of this and walk away. Don't forget our names.